Saxon Course 2, Lesson 48 is Fraction, Decimal, Percent, Equivalence. So here it wants me to write 7 tenths as a percent. So to change a number to its percent equivalent, you're going to multiply the number by 100%. So I'm going to multiply 7 tenths by 100%. Okay, I make that a fraction. I end up with 700% divided by 10. Remember you can cancel out zeros. So my answer will be 70 percent. Okay, This next one, write 2 thirds as a percent. Again I do 2 thirds times 100 percent. That gives me 200 percent divided by 3. Now when I divide it I end up with 66 and 2 thirds percent. You could also write this as 66.66 percent with the bar over the top if you would like. Unless it changes, it asks you to write it as a mixed number specifically. Okay, write 0 0.8 as a percent. Again, I multiply 0 0.8 times 100 percent. And we learned when we multiply by 100, we move the decimal place to the right two times. So I have 0 0.8. I move the decimal place to the right two times. 1, 2, put my 0 in. So my answer is 80%. Hey, completing the table. So we have 1 third. I need to write that as a decimal. So it will be 1 divided by 3 and I end up with 0 0.3 and it'll keep going so it's going to be 0 0.3 and then as a percent I'm going to take one-third multiply it by 100 percent which equals 33 and one-third percent okay on C it gives me a decimal 1.5 to make that a fraction I know that's going to be 1 and 5 tenths because remember the number goes into the numerator and then the place value is the denominator okay and that reduces down to 1 and 1 half okay and then to change that to a decimal or to a percent you're going to do 1.5 times 100 percent so that means we move the decimal place over twice. So one, two. I end up with 150%. Okay. On C or E, excuse me, we have 60%. So I need to change that to a fraction first. So 60% we know is 60 per hundred. The zeros cancel, so I get 6 over 10, which is the same as 3 fifths after I reduce. Okay. If I want to change that to a decimal, I again start with the 60%, okay. and that is the same as 60 over 100, which I can write as a decimal. It's going to be 0 0.6 because those zeros will cancel, it'll be six tenths, or six zero, okay? All right, on the last one, two over one, writing that as a, as a decimal, that's, that's equal to just two, so the decimal is going to be two, okay? And the percent is going to be two times 100%, which is equal to 200 percent. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.